This is Santa Fe. Uh -huh. I made a pirate ship. Uh huh. At first, I placed it on water. I tested it. Uh huh. It had it had a tiny crack under it, so I taped the bottom. And then when I did the when I put and then I placed Lego inside. When I did the second try, uh -huh. it survived nicely. But then it got the small hole became big. Oh, did did the tape help? Make it float? No. I, on, on, it was made out of paper and and uh, I did not put tape underneath. I showed you uh -huh. how I showed I'm gonna show you this bot where at first at very first got destroyed. Okay. It's just this. Do you see that tiny of a hole? You can just zoom in. Let me zoom in. Did you just zoom in? Yeah, I zoomed. Uh oh. Wait. Now there. Sure. If you see, do you see that tiny hole? Do you see yeah. it? Yeah. That's that tiny of a hole. Too much Lego mm -hmm. will make a tiny of a hole right here. That's just right here now that you just saw. Mm -hmm. And that meant that the more Lego was in it, mm -hmm. let's say here's the water and here's the ship. Mm -hmm. So the more Lego was in it, mm -hmm. it started to stop. Okay. Survive it. It's starting to go like this. Uh oh. Susan, the tap so it did not go and sink so far, but then this okay. started to become so soft. And after that, I I tested it again. I placed too much Lego again, but then this time it was this side. Uh huh. So that means so, that material is not a good one for making the pirate ship. Yeah. So okay. that. The paper is not good for making the pie ship and the cardboard. And Mommy, next time yeah. you too. And Mommy, next time. Mommy, I have a camera. You have then, a camera. Mommy, Mommy. Uh, when, when I was praying, I, I did. <laughs> so that. So the the pie is. Ah. Race and flew. Oh, this is a little bit bent. Let me put you guys straight. There we go. Hey guys, hey you there. I hope you have been so fine. Like me in black on black. And that is my outfit of the day, basically. I'm wearing like this dress from my husband long, long time ago. This dress is actually about seven years old. Yeah, this dress. So I still wear it. So I'm wearing this dress. Um, Actually, yeah, this dress is as old as Matthew. I, well, I'm wearing back now with this top here, which is more or less like a throw I bought from El Swakiki in Kenya. I still rock it, I still love it so much. So yeah, um, and so I'm about to leave the house to go to Yusk. The reason I'm going there is um, I need to check on some furniture sales they have. I think if most of you have seen, we do have like most of the books still on the floor we have a lot of books and most of them are still on the floor reason being for purpose of access like the kids can easily access them and we also were looking for something but also it's been because we don't like borrowing like we don't like buying things in debt we buy things when we are, can only afford them so that's where we have been to and now i wanted to go and see if they have like bookshelves and what they have and how much they would cost just to do like a price approximation because i'm thinking we're starting to save for one um and it'd be nice to see like the varieties they do have also i'm not sure if i'm going to manage to go to change but i should be going to change because i need change is actually a lingerie uh, shop that's in um, different places in Finland, it sells mostly for curvy, busty women like me. So I'm, but I should also be going there to check if they have um, bras uh, on sale as well. Because who buys on, you know, on original price if you can wait for sales? Not me. I mean, sometimes, but not always. I wanted to also share with you guys an incident that happened in Iso Omena on Friday evening. I left work. And then I 
went to Issa Omena with the boys because they're going to buy food and I also needed to get some clothes for Matthew. I had to go to Zara to go and buy for him there and when we were coming downstairs from Zara at about 5 to 6 p.m. Um, Matthew went with the uh, escalator and we took the elevator downstairs and when we were going downstairs I was having the pram and Daniel was just okay like I checked he was fine he was just standing by me when the lids got down when it was time to just come out of the lids guess what happened oh my god like I was frightened that was the fright of my entire life aside from the fright I had on Friday I think the some only thing that has come closest to it is when I had a hit and run in Kenya with a with a car. But that was the biggest fright I've ever had in my entire life. My son Daniel took his hand and put you know the place where the elevator closes through. He put his hand there. So when the elevator started closing, his hand was stuck in between and he was crying and I was so helpless. I uh, let's just say motherly instinct because I didn't even know what I was doing in the in the instant. I sat down quickly and I started calling for help. I called for someone who has a key. I also called for the guard and calling for help. And I was holding both doors on the side that he was hand was stuck in, and I pulled literally pulled the thing towards outside before anyone could come to help. But people came. People came. Maybe I was just too fast or actually other people had gone to call for help. So they'd call like an ambulance was already being called and some, some nurse had come. When I pulled the doors, some nurse came and there was another lady who was trying to just console me and just calm me down. And I was so nervous. And good thing Matthew was at the door at that time waiting for us. I was so nervous. I cried my eyes out and I was so frightened. So the lady who was a nurse checked the hand and um, she told me that everything was okay. And whew, guys, like just one thing I would want to say to you guys, if you have kids and you're going to a place, don't neglect the fact that kids think like in weird thing ways and they do things like in a snap of a finger and I, I just could not help it. I blamed myself a lot because I felt like I should have held his hand or put him in the pram. But then he's big enough. He does not want to be in the pram most of the time as much as he still needs the pram because sometimes he gets tired. But yeah, that's what happened to us. So we got help. Everyone came. Everyone who could help came and helped. Everyone who could come and say sorry, say sorry. I was so frightened. And if you're watching this and you're at Isomena between those times, thank you so much. Like... Zara to be specific and Zara to be specific between those times. Thank you so much because you guys came through for me And I really appreciate that. I was sharing that just as a point of caution for moms out there So we're about to go out today. Definitely be careful again My husband is not home. So I have to be trying to walk around with the kids and manage around. It's hectic so Yeah, I'll try and see if I can bring you guys along or not at the moment. They're playing in the sitting room um, so yeah, let's see how the day goes. Are you excited? Because I am. Okay, let's go. Yourself? Yeah. Why don't you want to wear shorts? The shorts are boring. Yeah. But it's really hot, Daniel. Yeah. Ignore the mess there. Today is my cleaning day, so I just washed like the couch uh, covers and stuff like that. I'm about to put sunscreen on the kids and then we go. Adrian went to go and play with his friends. Matthew, why are you being so naughty? <laughs> like doing naughty faces on my camera. And somewhere down here. So I'm just putting sunscreen on them and then what we got to do. Daniel, Daniel, it's your turn. Really? Always wear sunscreen. Wear. Even me, I wear sunscreen. They all wear sunscreen. So, I oh, wait, wait, wait. Bye. 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 Bye.
Daniel is able to put shoes by himself, right, Daniel? Yeah. Onse kiva. Oh, that's my baby. How do you all the time do your mom's song video? Mom, why do you all the time so do for me, that? what it, Matthew? Wait, for me, my point is always to let the kids do everything by themselves as much as they can, and when they're not able to, that's when I come in and help. I just. Mhm. Mm so night as a kidney. In there. Where? Guys, can you see the smoke? Yeah. See. There's a smoke coming from the forest. Let's see where the ambulance is going to. It's going in the same direction. Something yeah. happened there. See? It's going to that same direction. And there they are homes actually. Mother oh what? someone 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 tried to Uh oh. Mommy the what? Hey guys, so we are currently at Leda. I am about to buy some milk from here. And yeah, so I do shop from different places. Um, milk, especially. So, orange juice. Now, because I'm here with the pram today. I'm going to try and carry as much things as I can. Daniel has the trolley. So, yeah, that's this shop. So, it's like less overwhelming and affordable too. So, if you're a student and you're looking into shopping in an affordable way, it's always better to try and shop around different places. Don't go to just one supermarket, buy from different places. Because, of course, you can find like everything from here, but at least some things are available and very cheap. So. That's a tip for the day. Watch out. Remember what I told you? You have to always be careful because you can knock someone. You can knock someone and they will not be so happy. Daniel, especially if somebody will love this yogurt. But I think I'll take to give it a fish one. I'm getting the Turkish Geek Yogurt. We use this like all the time for breakfast and sometimes for just when you need a snack. Yeah. So I'm getting some milk. You should not be going too fast. We should be going together. Matthew, where's Matthew? We need to find Matthew now. Um, no, today we're not getting gummy bears. We said we're only buying milk and cheese and cookies, right? We love these cookies. At home. Put this inside. But you're going with this at home. Okay, put and then we go. So, do you only need a cereal? No. No gummies, yeah? No, I, I don't. I know. You, you don't want gummies anymore? You are the best, okay? No, but you're getting a cereal. But you're getting a cereal. Wants to buy some gummies. I like these. That's it, Mama. Are these bad? Um, I think all gummies are bad for children. Are these good? All gummies are bad for children. So, which one do you want? I am currently, I've come out of the middle, I'm now at K Market. As I told you guys, I always do like select, select, uh, select shopping. So I shop, is that how you call it? Like shopping from different places to just get the benefit of cost effective shopping. So yeah, so now no. I'm at K Market, let's go no. shopping. Lego Technique! We're not buying Legos today, no toys at all. Yeah, Even candies, I've 
broke the rule. You know, what they broke done? the agreement. Well done. But I wanted to check for the price of the helmet. Over there. We lost the helmet when was that? Two weeks ago. So Matthew has been using Adrian's bicycle helmet and that means Adrian cannot cycle when Matthew is not at home. So I need to try and find Matthew to a helmet for himself. So that's what we are here for amongst other things. So let's go to check helmets. Fit? You sure? Yeah. I'm just talking and to my husband. Here's right the kids' got shoes. Oh, you have the instructions with you. Okay, you brought them all. <laughs> and I look! Isa, say hi to my vlog. You where? Say hi to my vlog. Oh. Hi. 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 Daddy. And that's it. <laughs> but he nice built it. He built it this time round by okay. himself. So that was a nice thing. Without crying. So anyway, like I was saying, I need to get the helmet for okay. Matthew. So yeah, I'm getting this one because Adrian needs one. These days they do like uh, racing and it's not, I'm thinking one day he might just be tempted to leave the house without a helmet because he's engaged. So yeah, I'm getting Matthew now a helmet right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's better. Yeah. Okay. So how is your day so far? Guys, look what I found. Rye milk, like this place keeps surprising me. I'm getting one for myself to go and try it out. I'm gonna get from my let you guys know how it tastes like. But it's made from rye, like Riz is called rye in English. So, yeah, that great. Let's go try this and see. Could be the new fail. It's also on sale for 189 euros, so that's nice. So I'm going to try this out and then I'll let you know how it was. Like I've taken one packet because if it's not good, I'm going to use it as smoothies. But let's go try it. Just without the horns. We can just reach out and milk it like shh shh shh. I see it's trial. Yeah, can we sit there and then drink the milk? Yeah, the milk comes from the cow's nana over there. It comes from the milk's na cow's nana. Mom, it's you not that? real. That's where milk comes from, right? The milk that you drink, it comes from here. Yeah? I think so far we've taken everything that we need. We're now going to pay and then head home. I'm going to get some avocados, <coughs> some greens. I actually love veggies more than I love meat. So that's why this is my favorite spot in the supermarket. <laughs> so I just finished the biggest tantrums. The Daniel wanted a napkin and we already have a napkin and he wanted a water gun and we already have a water gun but we've agreed that we're going to do what at home. Can we take this? Pay the next time. Yeah. Mom, can we take this? What are we gonna put? I wish Fatsa can make like the bigger batches of these but these are my favorite. This is the citrona yogurt merenkin micro sukla. This is Really, really nice. No, I love no. them so much. go. Daniel, it's getting confused now. Okay, now it has to go. 